Everything resonated with me and it felt right. And I knew that I, I had to make a change. I had to. So right now, life is good. <laughs> life is very good. So what I hear you saying is I wanted to change an output. And so I changed the input. Throw up some hearts for Narkia and let's celebrate this dynamic entrepreneur. I'm pretty sure she could be doing anything else, but she continues to show up for our community and come back to support us and inspire and encourage. So let's show her some love. Narkia, welcome and thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We heard your success and we like, okay, that's what's up, right? And we acknowledge and celebrate that, but I know it didn't start there. And so can you talk about like the beginning for you and even getting on this journey and then coming into our community? So I was working through a staffing agency. Um, it was right around, you know, COVID times. I asked my employer for a raise because of COVID, obviously. My employer just flat out told me no. So um, it was kind of that that catapulted me into um, being a little curious about staffing companies. And I just decided, you know, like, I wonder if I could do this for myself. Because quite honestly, um, like the company I was working for, I just felt like I could do a better job. So I started doing some research and I stumbled across you on YouTube. From there, it was just like getting on and ready to launch and just kind of moving forward from there. So you were actually on a challenge just like everybody here. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you to be like real with me, right? Because I mm -hmm. know when you're on a challenge and you've met somebody, especially in the virtual world, like I have people that come in all the time as referrals. So they know somebody that knows somebody. So there's a different level of comfort. But when you're coming in brand new and you're like, OK, I met a lady on the Internet. Now I'm in a week long session. What like was the real time thoughts going through your mind? Honestly, I felt like I was in a place of desperation and I really, really wanted change. I had a son that was older. He was like 16 at the time. And most of his life, I was a single mom. So like I was working a ton of hours, taking care of my son. And then I found myself in a situation where I had just had a baby. My kids are like 16 years apart. So I had like a change of life baby. Now, I'm married at this point, but being a single mom, like I had trauma from that. Like I worked so hard and I didn't get to spend the time that I wanted to spend with my son and having a new baby. I was like, oh God, I'm not repeating this. I'm not going through the same thing again. And, you know, even though I was married or I am married, like nothing is guaranteed. And I was like, I'm, I need to set myself up, set my family up so that I can have time freedom and be able to do the things I want to do and be present in my daughter's life. That was my main motivation. And that's just kind of like where I was. And when I was sitting in this week long, um, ready to launch, like everything resonated with me and it felt right. And I knew that I, I had to make a change. I had to. First of all, why did you make the decision? Like when everything happened and when the opportunity was presented, why did you say like, okay, I'm in? Because I knew I couldn't do it by myself. Cause I'm like a person that I do a whole lot of research. And I had researched a lot before joining and there were just dots I couldn't connect on my own. You know something that I don't know and I needed to learn it from you. So that is basically just what it was for me. And as far as what it was like, it was like a blueprint. Not saying that it was easy because you do have to do, you know, your own due diligence. You do have to put in the work, but it was a blueprint. Six weeks we were launched and we haven't looked back since. So what was your experience like in actually putting together the the information and now like real world i'm in business i went through this program how did you feel like actually applying this because learning it is one thing right having the education going through the curriculum getting set up getting your foundation but what was it like when you actually started doing business i was prepared i was prepared everything was kind of laid out for you like step one step two so as long as you can read and comprehend and follow directions i feel like anybody could do it of course there's like always some things that may come up but there was opportunities to get the help going forward if i needed it so i never felt like i was alone or couldn't find answers or that i would be stuck what is life like now how has life changed from when you came in you were in that modality of selling your time basically right so now you've bought a substantial amount of your time back that's my assumption just based mm -hmm. on um what you shared 
But what is, how is life different for you now? Time freedom is like the biggest thing. You cannot put a price tag on your time. So I can literally do what I want when I want now. That was the whole reason why I did this to begin with. So I have time with my kids, time with my family. I love to travel. We travel. Like I've been able to go places that I never even thought was possible. So right now, life is good. <laughs> Life is very good. When my son was 16, I used to have anxiety about how I was going to pay for college for him. Like that was a big stress for me. Like, oh my God, I'm just now getting all my student loans paid off. Now I got to pay for him. And I'm we're, I'm able to pay for college. Like we don't need loans. I'm living life and life is, life is good. I just, I can't even express it enough. That part. You know, so there's a saying, uh, Karl Marx says that history repeats its itself. And I don't know if you've heard me say this, but I say that behavior repeats itself. Patterns repeat themselves. And so many people that have been trying to break the generational curses for their family, I really just sometimes think like, what if us breaking generational curses is us stepping outside of socially contagious behavior, which means, well, everybody in my family does this. We all do this. We think a certain way, we move a certain way. So what I hear you saying is I wanted to change an output. And so I changed the input and I took action. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what is the thing that, what was still like your biggest fear when you were here? I don't think I've ever asked you that before. What was your biggest fear? Failing. That was my biggest fear. Failing was my biggest fear. I think that's everyone's biggest fear. Like, what if I try it and it doesn't work? That was my biggest fear. But I had to put that to the side. Like, I had to have a mindset and attitude, like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. And I want to say this, the reason I specifically asked you you to come or I'm, I enjoy you sharing is because now you've done this for a couple of years, right? Mm -hmm. So most businesses go out of business in, like within the first year, if not the first year five, right? And so I think not only is it important for someone who's going through it, but someone who has sustained, and I'm sure you've had your own challenge. We can't predict everything in business. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to navigate some things and, and pivot and do different things within your business, right? To maintain and grow. I'll just let you tell us what you'd like to share with those who are being considered. I just feel like if it's something that um, you want to do, you should just go for it. Because for me, well, not even just for me, for a lot of people, I think um, the fear can kind of be paralyzing, right? But you kind of got to get outside of yourself. Nothing is going to change unless you change it. It's not going to change on its own. Dr. Nicole kind of like has the blueprint for you. So like I said, if you can like read, comprehend, follow directions, I can't see any reason why you want to be successful. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Narkia. As always, it is a pleasure to connect with you. And we certainly love to, we love to hear you win. We love to see you winning. And we will always be cheerleaders advocating for your success and celebrating you as you reach new milestones. Thank you Thank so you. much.